This video is going to talk about proper care and maintenance for the trombone. So, we've gone over how to hold the instrument, we've gone over how to make sounds on the instrument, and now it's important to know how we properly care for the instrument so that it doesn't get damaged. So, in your case, you're going to see a couple different things. First, look at this. This is what we call slide oil. We're going to use that, as you might have guessed, on the slide. Now, what slide oil does is it keeps the slide moving loosely and freely. You may have noticed that your slide might fight you a little bit as you try to move it. Or it may sound like it's not moving very smoothly. You might hear it, you might hear it moving back and forth, uh, not smoothly, but as I said. All you have to do, take your slide oil, take the cap off, uh, take your slide, I'm going to take it off the trombone just so I can hold it up and show you a little better. But you can do this with it attached to the rest of the trombone just fine. Take your slide. And all you need to do is put a couple of drops on each end of the slide. So I'm going to take my slide lock off for a second. All you have to do is put a couple of drops here and here. Make sure you have a rag below you or on your lap to catch anything that falls off. You don't need to put too much on, you just need to put a little bit on. And put a little bit near the top and a little bit near the middle of the slide. And then just quickly move the slide in and out to get that oil across the entire thing. So like I said, a little bit up here, a little bit in the middle, so that way the entire slide gets covered. And you should notice immediately that it starts moving much smoother and much quicker and much easier. You have to do that with your slide about once a week. That should take care of it for the most part. It is natural that it dries out and starts to fight you a little bit as you move it. That's totally normal for a brass instrument. So just do that once a week and that should take care of that problem. Now a couple other things that you may have noticed are this. There's a little bottle right here. This is what we call slide grease. Uh, <clears throat> we use that on the tuning slide up here. If you haven't realized, this piece of your trombone comes out and we're gonna adjust it and we're gonna learn how to tune the instruments later on this year. But like the slide, this tuning slide can get stubborn and it can get stuck from time to time. So all that you have to do is take just a little bit of the slide grease. Just dab your finger inside the case, take just a tiny bit, pull the slide out, rub your finger with that little bit of slide grease on each side of the instrument, uh, of the tuning slide, and then all you have to do is put it back in move it back and forth a little bit to make sure it's moving nice and smoothly. You don't need to put too much on it because that grease will just accumulate and get all over the slide. Or the rest of the instrument, excuse me, not the slide. We want it on the slide. Just make sure it's moving back and forth pretty easily. And like I said, very similar to the slide oil, you know, only have to do that about once a week or so. It's pretty straightforward. Like I said, uh, you don't have to do it all that often, just once it starts showing that it's acting stubborn. Okay, and then the last thing that we're going to talk about, or one of the last things, is this. Uh, this is called a snake. You may have seen it around your house. It's used sometimes to clean out drains. These are going to be specifically used for your instrument. All you have to do, unwind it, let it extend, and you can just use it to get inside the instrument to clean it out. Because naturally, as you play the instrument, uh, moisture and... Uh, other things start to build up inside the instrument, which is totally normal. So all you have to do is just take an open end of the trombone, reach inside, stick the snake in as far as you want to clean it out. You can do that uh, that end by the mouth where the mouthpiece goes, which is a good end to do. You can do it inside the tuning slide to get anything that might be caught up there. And if you take the slide end of the trombone, which I have right over here, like I said, put it right inside where the mouthpiece goes, clean out any of that gunk. 
Make sure your slide lock is in place during that so it doesn't fall out. And you just have to do that uh, not terribly often, but just do it once in a while to clean out the gunk that builds up naturally over time. And when you're done, just rinse off this end so that it's fresh for the next time you do it. And the last thing you may have seen in your case is this. This is just called a polishing cloth. It's not terribly important for the overall maintenance of your instrument, but it does clean out the outside of the instrument, clean off the outside of your instrument. So once in a while after you're done playing, just wipe down the outside of your instrument to clean off any oil from your skin that might have built up, or just general dirt and dust from being exposed to the air around you. Like I said, it does not affect how your instrument sounds in the slightest. It's just a good way to keep your instrument clean and looking shiny and fresh and new. So if you have any questions, please let me know. I'm more than happy to answer them either through comments on the video, posts in Google Classroom, emails that you send to my school email, <coughs> whatever you need. To sum up, take a little bit of slide oil, put it on the slide once a week, keep it fresh and moving smoothly. Do the same thing with the tuning slide but use this white tube of slide grease rather than the oil. Wipe down the instrument once in a while. Use the snake to clean out the inside of the instrument once in a while. And then you should be all set and you should have a trombone that's always fresh, clean, and ready to go in class and when you're practicing on your own. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you for watching the video and happy practicing.